Uh, I was a military policeman. When I got out of the Army three years later, I joined up with the Oklahoma State Troopers. And then I moved to Georgia 21 years as police. My husband, Robert, he was a 20 year in the army, he was in the infantry. We meet in France, he was stationed there. He died 2005. You know, I'm still missing him. Military was a way of life for me. The first time I went to Vietnam, I went in 1966. Second tour in Vietnam was as a long-range recon patrol. We had a duty of loading the uh, bombs on the V-29, and then we fused them on the flight. When they, we come back from that grave, we got hit by flak. So I was scared beyond measure. My husband, Hosea McClellan Whitstone, was drafted into the military. But then here come Vietnam. He was sent twice. He served his country well. I see the flag being lowered or raised. I salute the flag. And I'm proud to be American. I knew I was going to have trouble getting my wife in and out of the house, so I applied for a ramp to be built for her. Well, I don't know what I would have done without the help of the House of Heroes. When they built the ramp, it was God sent to me. I think House of Heroes is a benefit to the service people who need their help. I thank God for not only the work, but I thank the people that came out with the House of Heroes, the volunteers. I, I was just so glad to be introduced to House of Heroes. I feel very good, I feel safe. The house of Vero took a burden off my shoulder. Them coming in here and doing the work that I can no longer do, in my eyes, they're the heroes. <laughs>